In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP DeskJet 2742E printer to your smartphone. This works with iPhone and also Android the same exact way. So let's get started right now. So the first thing you need to do is obviously to plug the printer and turn it on. Then we need to put it in pairing mode so it connects to your smartphone. Right now it's not in pairing mode. You see the light over here right beside the Wi-Fi button. It needs to blink to know that it's actually in pairing mode. So how do you make it blink? Well, it's very easy. You just need first to insert at least two sheets of paper over here in the paper feeder. And then you're going to press the Wi-Fi button at the same time as this X button, both for the same time for about two seconds. Let me demonstrate. So I'm pressing them both. One, two. Then I'm releasing, this power button will flash, this is normal, and you'll see the Wi-Fi symbol here moving around. This is great, it means that the printer is now in pairing mode since the light right beside this button will start blinking. The printer will print, it just gives you some information if uh, the printer is connected to a network. Obviously right now it's not connected. This is why you see this, but we'll ju I'll just show you in a second how to do it. Okay, now the light is blinking. We can go on the smartphone. So take your smartphone and you'll need to go on the App Store or Google Play Store and download the HP Smart App, this one over here. Do not download HP Print Service Plugin. This is not the good app. It's the HP Smart App that is compatible with your printer. Okay, so once it's downloaded, go ahead and launch it. And once it's launched, this is the main screen. And on top over here, you're going to see all the printers that are connected to your uh, smartphone. I already have one, that's why uh, there is one. But if you don't have any printer connected, you're going to see this big add printer button that you need to tap on it. If you don't see this button, you need to tap on this small plus symbol on the top left corner over here. It's the same thing, basically. Then the next step, you need to press on get started here. Then select Wi-Fi and then select continue. Continue. Okay. While using the app. Continue. You need to turn on Bluetooth. This is what I just did. And your printer will appear on the list over here. You see on the top, DeskJet 2700 series, tap on it. Then it will ask the Wi-Fi password of your network. So make sure that this is the name of your Wi-Fi network at home or at work. If not, you can just change network and select yours. And here it's time to type the password. Once it's typed, press continue. Now it will ask you to press the I button on the printer. The I button is the one blinking here, right below the Wi-Fi button. Just press it once and the setup will continue on the phone. Perfect, we now have this screen telling you that the printer is now connected to the Wi-Fi. Press continue. On this screen, you're not obligated to accept whatever it's showing here. You can simply click on Decline Optional Data. Now they will try to sell you their HP Plus subscription service. It's up to you if you want to accept this or not. I have made, pre I have made a few previous videos showing you what the, everything is all about. In this case, I do not want this service, so I'll simply click on do not activate HP+, but if you want it, just press continue. I'll click again, decline HP+, then continue. Then I'll go down and I'll click on skip account activation skip account activation. You can always do it if you want, it's just you're not obligated. So I don't see the point of going through that setup. 
then I'll press on do not enable ink delivery. They're very persistent and I really do not like it. You see how many times I need to click on uh, skip offer, do not do that, do not. They just keep trying and trying and uh, when something is very pushy like this, it's uh, not uh, a good idea to accept it, I think. Okay, now it's printer updates. Do you want the printer to auto update so you don't have to do anything or you prefer getting notified every time there's a new update for your printer? I'll click on notify, but it's up to you. Uh, there's no wrong answer here. Now you see the screen stays white. It just means that the app crashed and uh, you just need to quit it and then go ahead and launch it back again. On top over here, you're going to see your printer HP DeskJet 2700 series with the ink levels. You don't have to go through the setup again. The app simply crashed, but everything got registered anyway. Okay, so now what you need to do to scan and to print. I'll show you how to do both. So how to print. Very easy. You're going to go down and here we have a few tiles and Depending what you want to print, if you want a photo, click photo. If you want a document, click print document. And this is what I will do now. Next step is to sign in into your HP account. This is not the same thing as HP Plus or what you, sh what you got showed uh, previously. This is just a free account that HP forced you to create and sign in to be able to use the basic features of this printer. So you cannot scan or you cannot print anything through the app if you don't have an HP account and are signed in. I know it's a shame. I'm really not happy about this, but I'm just telling you the way it is. So I'll go ahead and press sign in because I already have an account. But if you do not have one, simply uh, create an account. It takes about three, four minutes to create one just to confirm your email address and you'll be good to go. So let me simply sign in. Okay, now I have signed in into my existing account and I'm able to continue the process of printing my document. So now I'm going to select PDFs and I will find the document I want to print on my smartphone, iPhone or Android. You just need to find it on the memory. So I'll go ahead and select one of these. And now I need to select print on the bottom left side over here. I'll have multiple options and you need to go through them depending what kind of document you're trying to print. So if there is a page range, for example, if you don't want everything to be printed, maybe just the first page, go ahead and select this color, how many copies, do everything. And once you're done, you're going to press this blue button on the top right corner once. Make sure you have some uh, paper inserted in your printer. You can also extend this paper tray here. And you just have to wait. Usually it takes about 20 seconds uh, to get a paper out. Here we go. We just got our page printed the same way it's showing over here. Now let me show you how to scan a document. So to place a document and on the scanner that is on the top here. Okay, let's say I want to scan this paper. You need to place it facing down, facing down with the top part of the document on the right side, like this. And then you need to push the corner of the paper to the corner of the scanner. You see, so I'll just glide it oops, this way until both are touching. And then I can close the scan lid. On the app, let me uh, exit this over here. I need to go on the main menu page. You need to go down until you see printer scan. Do not select camera scan. So I'll click on printer scan. Next, I have to select up here what kind of document I'm trying to, to scan. So click here, page size, decide the page size depending what you're trying to scan. Under source, make sure that scanner glass is selected and resolution. If you're scanning an artwork or a painting, you need to select the highest number here. It's 300 DPI. If you're just uh, scanning a text document, 200 DPI is plenty. So just leave it like this.
and then you need to decide if you want this in color or not. When you're ready, you're going to press this white button on the bottom of the screen and you're going to wait. It takes about 15 seconds for a full page to be scanned. So I'll just fast forward this video. Okay, so now we have the scanned page and you can actually edit the borders by dragging these circles around the page. Then press next on the top right corner and you can rotate this page in case you're not happy with the orientation. Simply click this icon over here a few times until you're happy with the result. And over here we have multiple options or print, which means that you are now able to print what you just scanned and you can share and save. So if you press share, you'll be able to give this document a new name by editing this default name that is over here. Select what kind of a file format you want. If you're scanning a document, most of the time people want PDF, so select PDF. And here do not, and here you can edit the file size and document size. Once you're ready, press share. And you'll have a few options, Google Drive and other social media app. Now let me go back because I don't want to do this. You can also select save. By pressing save, you can again give this document a brand new name like this and select which kind of file type uh, you want this document to be, so a JPEG or a PDF, and finally press saved and it will say your file has been saved. File saved to the media folder on your device. You can also view it in files and photos in HP Smart. So this was how to connect your HP DeskJet 2742E to your smartphone. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.